So, as you can probably see, the studio is quite chaotic because I'm switching some things up before I do a studio tour. I brought this thing from home to make this place a little bit more chill out and so people can come here and can talk about things and talk about projects and stuff like that. So this video will be some commented GoPro footage from a street photography walk I did yesterday. Probably the video is called something like street photography for beginners or introverts, something like that. Beginning introverts. I don't know yet, but yeah, just a quick update. The uh, studio will switch up a little bit. Have fun with the GoPro footage and let's roll the intro. So, as you can see, we start in the inner city. This is the city where I live, and to the right you already see a um, very alternative looking bar, cafe, club thing. Really nice place to have a drink. Slightly political, which I like very much. And there we take the shot, and I didn't want to have the bike in. I wanted to have all those pictures on the wall in my picture because of the political message in it. So we go further into the city. To the left there is a city market and there is this street photography gold. This guy is standing in front of me with his back to me and bam he walked into the frame. Beautiful with the exposure in the back. I really like that. And there is the street market. It's a nice little market. With a lot of fruits and things to eat. And there I left. Because there wasn't really much to shoot in the market in the morning. And there we have this woman with the red jacket walking from the frame. Nice color matching, just a decent shot because of the colors. And then we come to a bigger place in the middle of the city where this truck is, which says, Need colors, all you need is techno. Quite funny with the guy with the headphones, probably listening to techno, and I made it black and white because. It was funny. A little bit. <laughs> so, then, nothing more to shoot there really. And we walk further through the city. By the way, standard setup Canon R8, 50mm, 1.8 lens. To the left, you already see. Then the yellow post office car and there's a nice little scene there. You have this post office worker probably making a little pause in front of this Bisu shop with the word heroism on it. And this was so weird and so much contrast and then I just had to take the shot. So, we go further through the city, just right, left, right, through the day. Because why not? I just like to walk around, I'm not the biggest fan of 
standing there and waiting on situations. I'm more like the guy walking five kilometers through the city. Yeah, there we have a little sped up scene. So you see, just walking around, just looking for stuff. A lot of shots that you don't see because they I just thought they weren't good enough, to be honest. And we walk and we walk and we walk. And the next situation you see here, we walk this little street. And there you already see this little bicycle trailer which looked so sad. <laughs> I just had to take a picture of it. Just in the exposure a little bit. Yeah, sad little bicycle trailer. <laughs> and we go further from the city. You see, this was in the morning. Weekday, not much happening there. And now we come to an interesting scene. There is this gigantic thing on the wall saying Bonsenbühne, which is a comment from the city theater on gentrification, I guess. It can be translated to big backstage I guess and I just like the, the frame especially in the context with this construction site this big picture just a really really interesting setup and you see I struggle a little bit with the composition there was so much going on and I decided to do that. The framing is good, I think, with the crane. You see something from the construction site all over, captured it quite good. And we are in the city again. Now we come to an interesting situation. I, I don't like to take photos of people's faces because I have some moral issues with it um, and I like to respect the privacy but this was such a nice shot with the colors matching and this weird headless person and you still can't recognize the people this is something which is very important for me I don't want to interrupt their privacy I don't like to take pictures of people suffering because there's probably something they are going through and the last thing they need is a guy with the camera in their face and there you saw yeah there is a shop on the other side it's a small shop pretty American I think they sell baseball shirts and basketball stuff like that and some Streetwear, and I was too far away, and I had to walk all the way around it. <laughs> and it's so funny because there in the window it says, Yes, we're open, and like two feet under it, it says closed. Super funny. Again, some street photography gold we have there. So, how was the trip to the city today? It went kind of bad. <laughs> uh, I have to look at the results at home and the editing. We have quite cloudy overcast weather today. And during the week I started at like 9am. Um, because I didn't want to run into that much people. It's like really street slash urban photography for more introvert people. I think this is a good name 
for the video. And I wanted to take a little video outside because I have this little lavalier mic and I wanted to try it out. I didn't use it that often, so I thought this would be a nice situation for it, a little recap of what we did today. I have some work to do for my day job. I have some editing to do with some videos and photography from today and I hope you're fine. I, I'm always a fan of challenging yourself like this little trip today. Maybe there isn't a single good photo I've done today but to be honest if you do this two three times a week maybe every week once a week just get the practice in maybe someday there's this one shot where you think oh yeah this is nice this is why I go outside with the camera this is why I take pictures so thank you for being part of this journey so far and one thing to say about the GoPro again I loaded the battery overnight I think it lasted for one and a half hours it's an old camera it's um, but it's okay I think I took some decent images afterwards which is not part of the GoPro footage uh, you will probably see it here But yeah, let's go home. Uh, I'm ready for a snack, something to drink, and maybe we'll see us later. Was the video for this week me talking over some GoPro footage. I hope you liked it. Some decent pictures there to be honest. I did it this way because the GoPro audio was not the best audio in the world um, as you prob probably heard in the other video I did with the GoPro. So a new way to handle the situation. Talking about audio Today I record the audio with the R8, not with an external microphone because I forgot the external microphone at home. Yeah, but I hope it's okay. The studio comes together. It's still a bit messy, to be honest. Still some work to do, but... Maybe in the future I will do a video about the studio, how I got the studio and what I do in the studio. And maybe some other interesting things I can show you. Yeah. Thanks for watching. You can subscribe if you want to. You can comment if you want to. I always switch those two up, I don't know why. But yeah, you can do whatever you want. And until the next video, goodbye.